New York. Well, an annual Halloween celebration is now underway in Dayton, and it's truly a sight to see. New Center 7 stopped by the Engel Stoddard Avenue Pumpkin Glow last night. If you missed it, no worries. You can still see the thousand jack-o'-lanterns tonight. All of this started back in 1994 when founder Judy Chaffin started carving pumpkins and putting them on the hill. Tonight's show runs from 6 to 10 p.m. behind the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church at Belmont Park. That event, by the way, is free. For a complete list of Halloween activities and trick-or-treat times in your community, check out WHIO.com. The question is, at 517, we're at 51 degrees. Will it be nice enough this evening to go out and see some of those glowing pumpkins? Honestly, it'll be pretty good. Yeah, we've got that chance for a light shower, but not enough to ruin your plans. Halloween, though, our forecast will be a little rougher than what we're going to get today. We do have the chance for rain showers to be moving in on Thursday, but it does look like some good news. Our cold front associated with that system is kind of speeding up, so let's hope that that trend continues because that should end the rain from west to east as we head through Thursday evening. Now, you do want to keep in mind, rain or not, it will have rained all day, pretty much Wednesday and part of Thursday. So the ground is going to be pretty soaked, and you're going to be dealing with falling temperatures. So the kids, uh, they'll be trick-or-treating when we're dropping through the 40s. We're also going to have the winds pick up Thursday night. So we're talking 35, possibly 40-mile-per-hour wind gusts. So that in and of itself will be impactful. They definitely want to make sure they've got layers on for Thursday evening to deal with the wind and the cold and rain boots as I mentioned not a bad idea as those showers will be coming to an end but the ground itself will be pretty wet as they're walking around the neighborhoods. Here's a live look outside this morning. Live Doppler 7 radar is pretty quiet for now and we do have clouds rolling in this morning and that's going to be something we see all day. Cloudy skies. Futurecast actually does a good job picking up on that. Well, as we head into the afternoon we will see our chance for a few showers increasing so here's five o'clock just a passing rain shower or two. But you can see even in the Dayton area, if you're going to be heading to the pumpkin event there, really not a high chance for a shower to impact you. You're just going to have cloudy skies and cool temperatures. It's 46 right now in Sydney. We're at 48 in Xenia and 45 degrees in Greenville. After school today, temperatures will be well into the 60s. But unlike yesterday with the sun, the gloomier skies will make these temperatures feel on the cool side. Tonight, we hold steady in the upper 40s. And tomorrow, we'll see our better chance for rain. So another system will develop. We're going to get a couple waves of moisture and that one wave is going to start arriving here for Wednesday afternoon. So this is when the rain becomes widespread. Wednesday afternoon into early evening. May catch a little bit of a break Wednesday night before we see more showers develop during the day on Thursday. Temperatures tomorrow will also be cooler because of the rain and the cloudy skies. We will likely sit right around 60 degrees. And looking at Thursday's future cast, you can see showers will be more widespread during the first half of the day. Here's lunchtime. Heaviest rain will likely stay off to our southeast. And then those showers will come to an end from west to east as we head into the evening. So that is some good news. It does look like at least you'll have a better chance of trick-or-treating at 6 o'clock with dry time across a good chunk of the Miami Valley. We may have just a few lingering showers across the far southeast at 6 on Thursday. But again, the trend will be that we dry out into the evening hours. Our wind, though, will be picking up into the evening hours. So especially towards the end of trick-or-treat time. That's when we could start to see those higher wind gusts. So you want to make sure, of course, the kids are prepared and that they're dressed nice and warmly. Our five-day forecast does show we're still windy Friday morning, and look how cold we get. This is a big drop for the afternoon highs to not even hit 50 degrees. We bring you weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Let's check in with Sarge. And good morning, Kirsty. We've had a good start to the morning drive. We're looking at some good driving conditions. Here's a live look at the camera. Interstate 75. This camera is right on the Warren Montgomery County line, and it's a 12-mile drive north from this camera to Interstate 75 at Route 35 downtown in Dayton. And right now you can drive in about 10 minutes. I'm Sergeant Mark Bauer, WHIO, Triple Team Traffic. 521, 51 degrees. A Kettering restaurant closing for good. Why the owner decided to close up shop with what they plan to do next. Storm Tracker 7, the mobile weather center that allows our team of expert meteorologists to be anywhere in the community. Storm Center 7 is weather coverage you can count on.